Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and this is my 858th Energy Drink Review video. It's 5.01 p.m., and it's Tuesday, July 18th, 2017. Yesterday, I went to Tulsa, and I went to the Come and Go gas station. I found this there. It's a, I don't know if it's a new flavor, or it came out with the other three flavors that are reviewed, and I guess I just didn't get it before. So I'm not for sure, but anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the Kiwi Melon V8 Plus Energy Energy Drink. It's new to me anyway. So yeah, I got it at the Come and Go gas station for around $1.50. If they would have this in a four-pack at Homeland, it would be like $4 for a four-pack. So like a dollar a can, so then it would be pretty cheap. So hopefully my local grocery store gets it. So yeah, it has a silver top with a silver tab. Shows like some watermelons and kiwis at the top. And it looks like apples and um, the purple sweet potatoes or whatever. That they use in like a lot of their V8 V fusions and stuff. It says 80 milligrams of caffeine. A sip with, with zip. Delicious fruit taste. Juice your energy. No artificial colors or flavors. Lightly carbonated. Natural energy from green tea, one serving of vegetables and fruit. Excellent source of B vitamins, 50 calories. Net 12 fluid ounces, 359 milliliters. A kiwi and watermelon flavored beverage with a 34% juice blend of four vegetable and fruit juices from Concentrate with green tea and other natural flavors. The bottom has the Best Buy date, Best Buy January 10th, 2018. So it's still good for a while has SKU, the Wrexham logo, and some other codes, and a recycling thing, please recycle. V8 has other ingredients, has sweet potato juice concentrate, um, concentrated fruit juice blend is apples, watermelon, and kiwi, has green tea extract, distributed by Campbell's Soup Company, Camden, New Jersey, USA, 08103. 1701, 12 fluid ounces of this juice provides a combined serving of vegetables and fruit. About 3 ounces vegetable and juice and 1 ounce fruit juice. One serving of vegetables or fruit equals 4 ounces, half cup. Dietary guidelines recommend 2.5 cups of a variety of vegetables and 2 cups of fruit per day for a 2,000 calorie diet. 34% juice nutrition fact serving size 1 can. Amount per serving calories 50, total fat 0 grams 0%, 0 sodium 60 milligrams 3%, total carbohydrates 13 grams 4%, dietary fiber 0 grams 0%, 0 sugars 11 grams, protein 0 grams, vitamin C 20%, riboflavin 20%, theamine 30%, niacin 20%, vitamin B6 20%, vitamin B12 30%. Pasteurized best when chilled before serving, recommended use by date on container. Refrigerate after opening, satisfaction guaranteed. If you have questions or comments, please call 1 800 871 0988. Please have code and date information from container. Visit our website at www.v8juice.com. Caution not recommended for children, pregnant, or nursing women, or people sensitive to caffeine. So, yeah, so I'll let you see the can now. I'll let you see it like this, and then I'll zoom in closer. Okay. Has, like, bubbles around the side of the arrow. Shows the fruits and vegetables and stuff. Has, like, a sunburst pattern coming out of it in the background. A little bit hard to see, but it looks pretty cool. Shows a leaf. Fifty calories per can. I think I forgot to show you that. Or read it off anyway. The bottom text may be a little bit hard to see. Okay.
There's that code. It's hard to see though. That's KU. There's the other ingredients. And that code and then the recycling thing. Okay, here's the nutrition vac side. Okay, that's basically the whole can, so now I'm going to shake it up, open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. I don't know if you could hear it, but it was bubbling because of the carbonation. Anyway, the smell definitely smells like kiwi. Doesn't really smell like watermelon. Um, it smells like it has the vegetable juice, though. Yes, yeah, that sweet potato juice or whatever. Or the purple potato juice. Yeah, but anyway, it smells pretty good, though. It smells like a V8 V Fusion. So, you know, it smells pretty good. Now I'm going to try it. And the color, it looks clear, but there's a, like a tiny hint of green. So, yeah. Really can't probably see it, though. But yeah, anyway, now I'm going to try it. Whoa. Yeah, and the flavor, you can definitely taste the watermelon, though. It tastes similar to the watermelon um, Mountain Dew Kickstart a little bit. But it has a good kiwi taste, too. And then it has that vegetable juice or whatever. And the aftertaste. But mostly it's a good sweet kiwi melon flavor. Pretty good. I like it. Very refreshing. Has a cool can design. I like it. The flavor is good. It has a nice sweet kiwi and melon flavor. Um... It does have a little bit of a vegetable juice aftertaste, but not too bad. Um, Energy-wise, it lasts about two and a half hours to about three and a half hours of energy, so it works okay. It's cheap if sometimes you can find these in four packs for four dollars, so you know. You might be able to get them pretty cheap for a dollar a can. But I got it at the Come and Go gas station for I think around a dollar twenty-five or a dollar fifty. Can't remember exactly, but it was still pretty cheap. I like it. I give the Kiwi Melon V8 Plus Energy Energy Drink. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend trying it. It's healthier than most energy drinks and it's pretty good. I like it. I give it a 9 out of 10. Okay, yesterday I also went to, well, also that gas station. I went there to look for the Bang Energy Drinks, the ones that I need to review, like the new flavors. They didn't have any of the new flavors. But they did have the new design Blue Raz one, so I got it, and I'm going to show it off in a minute. But then I went to the GNC, and they had the new design Lemon Drop one, and they had the, all the newer flavors that I haven't reviewed yet. They had Sour Heads, they had the Star Blast one, and they had the new Cotton Candy one, so I'll be reviewing those soon. But um, they also had the Power Punch one, I got it. Well, I think I already told you that. You know what I mean? But I haven't reviewed the Power Punch one or the Star Blast ones before. They were available in the old can designs, but I couldn't find them. But I got them in the new can design, so I'll be reviewing them in the new design. I'm not going to be re-reviewing the Blue Raz or the Lemon Drop, but I'm going to show off the cans of those right quick. 
Okay, I'm gonna try not to do this too long. But here's the new design blue Raz Bang. I'm not gonna be re reviewing it. And I'm not gonna read it off, I'm just gonna show it to you right quick. I'm gonna show off the new Lemon Drop one too. So you can see the can design right quick. It says Super Creatine around the top. There's the new Bang logo, it looks pretty cool. I like the blue and the red. Mm, it was a little bit scraped up. But, like, also the ones at GNC, they like barely had any. They only had one of the cotton candy one. Um, they had a, quite a bit of the sour heads. They had one of the power punch ones. And they had... I think a couple of the lemon drops. And they also had like a few of the blue rasp, but not that many. Their like refrigerator was like basically empty. But I should look at Vitamin Shop 2 for the bangs. I also should look at the um, um maybe complete nutrition for drinks. And just pause this wherever you can see it best. Okay, that was the blue Raz. Now I'm going to show you the lemon drop. Okay, it's basically the same. Except the logo is like yellow with red and the orange. Just gonna like scan over this quickly. It's pretty much the same. I don't really have to show you the warning and stuff, but I want to show you the nutrition facts and stuff. I'm not taking too long, hopefully. And the lights are reflecting on it, so I'm sorry. I think this is pretty much the same as the Blue Raz one. Okay. I wish they had the new design one of the champagne one, but they didn't. So I'm going to have to get that one sometime. I still need to get the new Black Cherry Vanilla one, and the new Peach Mango one, and the new Root Beer one. So yeah. But anyway, that's basically the new design blue ras and lemon drop bangs if i were to review them i'd give them the same score as the old design ones so you know but this was just showing off the cans i'm not re-reviewing them so if you know what i would give them just watch my old reviews but anyway my next review i'm probably going to be reviewing i guess i'm going to review the power punch bang so stay tuned for that review stay tuned for my upcoming review stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching see you guys later peace out and bye.